So what we are talking about, we are talking about SAP, which is the world large biggest ERP system. Okay, it's the world biggest ERP system. It's the world only ERP system, which can connect multiple different mod modules or domains so strongly to provide the business solutions. Then the question comes, ki, bhaiya, what is ERP system? What an ERP system does? ERP full form as such as enterprise resource planning, but ERP system is kind of a software which help you to run your business, right? And whenever you need to think about SAP or uh, ERP system, which is related to SAP, you need to always think about the big business. It's not like the Mahalaki shop, the small shops, they are putting SAP, right? It is always, the, this software is made for the big companies, the middle tier to the tier one or the Fortune 500 companies. They try to adopt these kind of big softwares these kind of SAP softwares, right? So what happens, let's say, if you have a company, you have a business in multiple regions in a country, or you have a uh, business in multiple countries, you are producing it, you have multiple sales team, procurement teams, you are selling it, then your business is very big. It's, it's very difficult to control that enterprise, right? To control that enterprise, the ERP solution, SAP solution comes into picture which gives you a solution, a complete connected the different countries, their taxations, their legalities, their financial rules based on that, they connect with the single system, all the businesses in the different countries or all the businesses in the different regions is connected through SAP, where basically your sales happen through SAP, your procurement happens through SAP, your manufacturing happens through SAP, your inventories are managed in SAP and your financial books are also kept in SAP as per the country's specific rules and regulations, right? So that is the SAP become a centralized system to connect your full business. In business, you would be having a different dots in different countries in different region. So which is the single thread which is connecting them? ERP, SAP is that thread which is connecting them. Because ERP, SAP is connecting the full business, these IT tools connect the full business, importance of these IT tools becomes very high. If these IT tools are not implemented in a good manner, in a right manner, it can hamper your business in a negative way. And there's one session pending with me, which I would be doing in Step Up Circles to bringing out the examples where SAP has implemented. I always talk about SAP success, but I also want to do one session where SAP has implemented and after the implementation, business went in losses because of SAP implementation. Okay, that you need to understand that what is the importance of this uh, SAP as a software? Why everybody require only experienced consultant? Why SAP consultants are paid, paid that high? Because as a SAP consultant, you would be working to set up this system into the business environment, right? To set up this system into the business environment. And how long an enterprise can take to adopt the SAP system? Quickly. How long a Fortune 500 companies or what is the duration of a Fortune 500 company project when they want to implement SAP? Quickly, the number of months or years in the chat, let me see. So my question to you is how many months or years can a Fortune 500 company takes or can take if they are implementing SAP? One to three years, uh, 12 to 15 months, 10 years, 20 years, 10 years, five plus year, eight to 10 months. The current project which we are working on, that is uh, almost seven years project. And uh, that project also can go easily two more years. And that is we are only implementing one specific segment. Earlier when we have implemented ECC in uh, one fourth of the geography, not the full geography, one fourth of the geography of the world we implemented for FMCG company, it took almost nine years to implement that. Okay, so it took, it will take a long time. It is because I'm saying that the enterprise are big, their requirements are big and the risk associated is also big. So we don't go big bang, right? It is not like a Zoom software, which we use for this training or Gmail key, user ID, password, Dala and everything is ready, right? <clears throat> so it takes it takes time. It's a very big software, which require a lot of people, a lot of discussion, a lot of cons experts, consultant to get that implemented. So that is the kind of software we are talking about. So if you understand that software, now you would be able to understand more where the 
jobs are hid uh, are are there in these environments so what is sap i have explained and why do business require sap that is also i have explained they have their legal constraints they legally they need to maintain the books right and they need to have a system which can help them to give them the monitoring to give them the reporting and to give them the controlling are you as a owner of the business right and you have a business in the multiple countries manufacturing is happening sales is happening procurement is happening how would you control that business how would you monitor that business you need some centralized tool where everything is happening where you are define the processes and these countries people they follow the processes to complete it transparency is there control is there and monitoring is also there you need to put that because as a owner of the business if you are a three four partners you cannot look each and everything so you need to build some good processes and you need some good it tools where basically these processes are implemented and you want your business to follow with those processes and these processes need to be controlled monitors and then whatever the legal requirements are of maintaining the books or legal requirements of taxations need to also be met so that's why all these companies implement sap right a lot of company also implement sap because sap is now brand name right if 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 a company who wants to grow and they want to uh, they want to do the acquisition or they want to get a merger done or they want to sell this company to some bigger companies right they also implement then small companies also implement sap because implementing a sap is a tag mark with you that you are following the processes transparency is there and if somebody wants to monitor your system somebody wants to monitor your uh, business they have sap system they would jump into it they would be able to come to know everything what is sales what is finance what is uh, procurement is happening where the expenses are there where the profits are there can be easily identified from the single software